Ladies and gentlemen, I am Hypo. We are on the final quest of the game. And as you can see, I am a werewolf. I recorded footage of it happening and it got corrupted. So I do apologize for that. The file just basically didn't save. It corrupted. It just didn't happen. So the quest line of it going through was a complete failure and I do apologize for that. Um, we're on the final quest, which is your main storyline. Uh, main story, God of Schemes. So we're going up against Molag Bol. And I thought it would be kind of a good idea for me to basically show you, you know, as a video of what's going on. I've got this character. Oops, that's not skills at all. This is my sorcerer, my melee sorcerer. She's using sword and board at the moment, mainly because I want to level it up. Um, normally I use two-hander, so hence these two skills down here, and then the two pats. We're going to just swap out a couple of skills a second, mainly because if we're going up against Molag Bol, I want to be slightly OP when going up against him, rather than not OP enough, because I don't want to die, but I probably will. So we'll start here by talking to Varen. Your deeds have been nothing short of legendary. Yes, With I am a legend. Meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molag Bal and reclaim your soul. Oh yes, Molag Bal, you are you going must down. You lead the five companions into this final battle. Cool. We are all of us prepared to sacrifice our lives to see this through to the end. Our plan is to use the Amulet of Kings to invest you with the power to do battle with the Daedric Prince. Yep, killing the Daedric Prince. I am going to mash Molag Bol Mola in the, the face. Schemes has rallied his most powerful servants to his side. More than likely. But his arrogance has already proven to be his undoing. He may not even consider you a threat. We shall yeah, endeavor I'm to a threat. Utterly, catastrophically wrong. Okay. Here we go. So that all done. And the five companions are here. I'll explain a little bit when we get into quest line about different things that you can do with your character at this point. There's Molag Bowl. And there's uh, a, a person with a sword. I think that's a sword I'm using, actually. Is it a sword I'm using in game at the moment? Maybe. I've just recently switched to sword and board mainly to level up. And for no other reason than I just fancied doing sword and board instead of two-hander. I'll never get used to this place. No. Nope. Come Neither here, will I. Vestige. I'd like a word before we skip off merrily to our doom. Oh, I want to go skipping. Okay. Enter. Well, okay. Um, talk to Abner Thar. The time is at hand. Stop second-guessing you yourself. Mean? Stop questioning your resolve. Just stand up and do it. Okay. Ready. Am I ready? This is it. The beginning of the blasted end. There's no point in pretending this isn't happening or saying we're not ready. It might not be happening. It's this a computer challenge game. will not wait. Can you do what is necessary, no matter the cost? Yep. No matter how much it grieves you. Yep. There is always a choice, but you okay. don't get to choose what is true. You only get to choose what you will do about it. Maybe. Do you need a reminder about what lies ahead? Um, I know what we need to do. Um, I think he just explains about what's going on. So we've done that. Enter Heart's Grief, which is over here somewhere. Let's just make my summons up. So we use the uh, Unstable Clan Fear? No, that's not the Unstable Clan Fear, is it? It's... Oh, it is the Unstable Clan Fear. My bad. And the Matriarch. Twilight Matriarch. Harpy. Winged thing that heals me. So, here we go. Let's go in and do some damage. Oh, let's dodge out of that. Just dice it up. Oh, oh whoops, I didn't see the snake bitch there. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Yeah, my DPS in this 
with sword and board is not the best. So I do apologise now <coughs> that I'm not going to be doing huge amounts of damage. But I just need it to level up because I intend to go sword and board in veteran levels because I just get the feeling that that's going to be the better idea. Oh, both my pets are down. I didn't realise that. Yep. No, break out of that. Thank you. Var in there healing me. Oh, get out of that. Varen's quite useful with his healing. No, quit doing stuff to me. Right, get rid of that. So yeah, a bit of a long fight this because of my DPS output isn't that high. There we go. Now we just DPS her down. And there she we go. And my ultimate has recharged. Let's kill you. Um, some of you may have noticed already um, that I'm... Ooh, that was close. Um, that I'm actually using a overlay. It's FTC overlay. Foundry Tactical Combat. It's from Tamriel Journal. Um... No, is it? I don't know. I can't remember. It's, it's FTC. I'll, I'm pretty sure it is. And it's just an overlay. I prefer the look of it. Others have, you know, said that they don't like the look of it. Um, but you're better off, you know, going, choosing... Oh, rubbish. You're better off choosing something, in my opinion. I've found it, you know, quite helpful in the way of... Oh! Come on! Just die! There we go. Yeah, I use FTC because it's the one I just prefer using. There's others out there. You know, other overlays are available. There we go. Down. And, you know... There's nothing wrong with the original UI. It's it works. Yay, 15. Uh, I could probably add some skill points into that now actually. Weapon, sword and board. But yeah, you can pick up the um, extra reduces target's damage and some mobilize. Ooh, reduces target's damage will be nice, I think. And what do we have here? Increases weapon damage by through Ooh, that would be good as well. There we go. Defensive posture. No, I don't want that. So yeah, the nothing wrong with the original overlay that you know Bethesda have given you. It works, but I just prefer something a little bit different. So I can see the health and magicka and stamina all there in one lump. I can see theirs. It just seems more useful to me. So we'll just start. No. God, why do they always have to stun? There we go. Dead. And where are we going anyway? We're doing all this. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Hello, big gargoyle man. How you doing? I'm just going to go in and reduce your damage. There you go. Oh, that didn't work. Ha! <laughs> He's too powerful for that effect. Wonderful. Let's break out that. And let's just dump him. That's my Storm Atronach. Wow! Um, burning, 52 damage. I took 52 damage before dying. Wonderful. Yeah, I've got very little health on this character. Um, let's just move out of here because I'll need to get my summons. As you can see, it's just all in stamina. That's all it is. Oh, I've got an extra point. Sweet! There we go. Commit points. It's all in stamina. I probably should put it into health. And I probably will uh, change it, I think. 
maybe? I don't know. It depends how difficult the veteran levels are, to be honest. If the veteran levels are easy, what are these glow things? Oh, they're nothing. Oh, oh, dodge that. Come on, let me move, thank you. Let's just stab him in the bum. Stabby stabby. Butt stabbage. Uh oh! No, no, no! Pay attention to somebody else. Don't kill me. I was getting a bit cocky there, I think. Right, here we go. Come on, break out of that, thank you. Oh, he's got the same tail as Merlot Ball. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Come on, move, dodge. Right, kill off these for a little bit of XP. Come on. Come on, die, thank you. Let's get that one up again. Oh, he's dead. Cool. And we shall move on to Heart's Grief. And I think there might be some more. Oh no. I thought some something was going to jump out and hit me then, but nothing. Heart's Grief Vestibule. Wow, that was a quick load. <laughs> Normally on my PC they take a while, but they seem this to be doing better nowadays. Pain and suffering. This must be where Molag Baal torments those who displease him. Ha ha, he's gonna torment you. Oh, good lord. Is that Marco? That scared me a lot. Right. Right, here we go. Just more butt stabbage going on. While I concentrate around the back here. Oh. Come on. Get out of the stuns. No, no, no. Don't kill me. I know you like me, and I am your friend. There we go. So apparently Manny Marco's here. Uh-oh. I didn't want, really want to pull them all. No! Why have you done that? Oh, you pain. No, get out of that. Go on, dodge roll. Right, let's DPS one of these down. He's almost down. Right, you're almost down. There you go. Uh oh, I've just lost a pet. One more. Almost gone. Let's just battle through that. There we go. Perfect. Mr. Manny Marco. Yes, he's still alive. You come to gloat at my torment. Or is your appearance here a part of it? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I am neither alive nor dead. I am trapped in a couch of ash and bile and swirling vapors. My ears are filled with the screams of a thousand nails being drawn. And the pain, the pain is endless. Why is Molag like keeping you here? Thing, and an abject lesson to others who would thwart him. My plan was flawless. My machinations were executed to perfection. I would have been a god if not for you. I, my only consolation is that you will know this pain soon enough. Oh, will I? Maybe. Arrogant, presumptuous, egotistical twaddle. 
costume jewelry is nothing compared to the master's power. Yeah, you're probably right. I expect I'll be seeing you soon. My only joy for the rest of eternity will be hearing your tortured screams. So be it, or I could release you if you wish. Now, no. Um, you can stay there because you're a nasty man. You can, I believe, release him. And okay, or I can, I can still release him. Oh, okay, let's just release him. Actually released me. Yeah, there we go. Why not? Fool. Future generations will pay for your weakness. Probably. Are you insane? That worm didn't deserve your mercy. Yeah, I know he probably didn't, but. Why do I get the feeling we're going to regret this? Because you're not making the decisions, I am. So hush your mouth. More like ball, holding a man with an awesome mace. I had that mace in Skyrim. I've got an itchy face. <laughs>